Good day to wherever you are in the world right now watching this video. Liverpool are the favourites to win the Champions League again. Let me put that right out there. Like, it's a no-brainer. It is a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer, seriously. Because 73 points after 25 matches, like, no team in Europe... It's doing that right now. None of them. None of them. And ask me if I saw other teams play. Yeah. Yesterday, I attended an exhibition, meaning that I checked out matches from other leagues. You know, I'm a Premier League guy, but I keep tabs. I keep very close tabs on the other leagues, contrary to your belief. Not because I don't make videos about the other leagues, mean I don't actually follow the other leagues I do follow the other leagues check out the scores the league tables the news and whatnot I do that I definitely do that but it's because of you know strategy content strategy why I don't really talk about the other leagues for example yesterday I watched the Bayer Leverkusen versus Borussia Dortmund match I saw that. That was an exciting game. Bayer Leverkusen 4, Dortmund 3. I watched the Verona versus Juventus match. Verona 2, Juventus 1. That was a good game. That was a very, very, very good game. And it was nice to see a small team like Verona upset Juve. After Ronaldo scored his 10th successive goal for Juventus in the league, becoming the first Juventus player ever to do so. You know, so I watch, I watch other leagues too. I watch other leagues. I did see the Atalanta Fiorentina match when Atalanta came back from being 1 0 down to win the game 2 1. So I've been checking out these teams that are currently in the Champions League around of 16. And that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about a few things. Favorites to win the title this season. It has to be Liverpool. Liverpool are the favourites. Ain't no debate in that. Liverpool are the favourites. Zero else in the league this season. All the other teams have been beaten. Only Real Madrid has picked up one loss. But on the flip side, they have seven jaws. Seven jaws. Some Picasso type stuff. Seven jaws. So... Liverpool are the clear favourites. After Liverpool, it has to be Real Madrid. It has to definitely be Real Madrid. And I'm here saying Real Madrid, and some of you guys are probably saying, like, why not your team, Manchester City? No, we're not no favourites here. Yeah, we're favourites to get knocked out by Real Madrid, if you want to put it that way. Because right now, we are not playing like we mean business at all. We ain't playing like we mean business. Seriously, we are not playing like we mean business. And it could be a round of 16 ousting for us this season. Seriously. And if it happens, we, we deserve it. Pep Guardiola, you deserve it for being complacent and arrogant. So we are the favorites. There's also Barcelona. New manager and all, Setien, so, you know, no strike up top right now. There's Barcelona. I'll put in third. And Juve, Bayern Munich, fourth, fifth. And you could have outsiders. You know, Tottenham got to the final last year. Outsiders have a chance. Maybe you put City sixth. And the rest would follow. But right now, it's Liverpool. It has to be Liverpool. Liverpool has to be the favorites. They are the holders, and I can't see. Seriously, it, it's hard to see them getting beaten across two legs. It's really hard. It's really hard. It have not happened. It have not happened in the knockout stage of the Champions League for the last two seasons. 
Why do you think it's going to happen this season when they have been better than the previous seasons? Why? Why do you think that's going to happen? Look, 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 look. It's the Champions League. It's the knockout stage. Anything could happen. Anything could definitely happen. Don't get me wrong. Anything could happen. But the way these guys are playing, how are they going to lose across two legs to an Atletico Madrid? A team who has gotten to the final of the Champions League twice last decade and lost both of them. Lost both of them to Spanish oppositions. One to Barcelona, one to Real Madrid. Right? Am I right with that? Am I right with that? And I've seen those matches. So I, I don't really see, you know, Liverpool losing to Atletico Madrid. So I, I re but I'll get back to that. I'll get back to that. Let's just run through the round of 16 fixtures or the ties real fast. I don't want to make this too much of an official, official prediction, but more of a statement type video, like Liverpool are definitely favorites to win the Champions, something, something around that line. But Tottenham versus RB Leipzig. Tottenham on the new boss, Jose Mourinho, currently about fifth in the Premier League. Not doing too bad, not doing too bad at all. Not doing too bad. They last defeated Southampton in the FA Cup and then they defeated my team Man City in the league. So they're not doing too bad. They're in good form. Let's just say that. Without no Harry Kane and they're still in good form. Leipzig. First time in the Champions League round of 16. Mourinho has been here numerous times. He has the edge over Julian Nagas, man. Leipzig currently second in the Bundesliga, I think, today. They will play Bayern Munich. I'm going to look to catch that if I can. If it's not clashing with the Man City West Ham fixture. I'm, I'm going to be watching a few games today from the other leagues too. PSG play Lyon. And these two guys are in the Champions League round of 16. So I need to see this game. That's 3 o'clock my time. But Leipzig versus Tottenham. It's going to be a tricky one. This one could go anyway. It could go anyway. If Leipzig are to defeat Tottenham, it will be an upset because with Mourinho at the helm, it's going to be hard to outfox a man like Mourinho. And with him taking a pragmatic approach, it's going to be hard to beat him. Julian Nagas, man, fresh, new ideas, young manager, and everything. I'm older than Julian Nagas, man, to, to give you guys some fun facts. So, it, it's the, the team is exciting. Their team is exciting. And Kunku, Werner, Yusuf Paulson, Marcel Zabitza, you know, Emil Forsberg. Their team is very, very exciting. And this is going to be a very mouth-watering clash to witness. But right now, I'm more going towards Tottenham. Not because they're English or whatnot. And I follow the English Premier League. It's just because it's going to be very difficult to beat Mourinho here. I can still see... A Leipzig win, like that's not hard to fathom at all. But Tottenham are the favorites here. On the Mourinho. Tottenham are the favorites. I, I've seen these guys play, and these guys ain't no pushovers. Seriously, they're not no pushovers. They ain't no pushovers. Valencia versus Atalanta. This one is gonna be a good one. Battle of the dog horses this season. Valencia currently around 7th in La Liga. Atalanta 4th in Syria. Both teams doing okay. And I've just seen Atalanta play yesterday. And this team and the Gasparini, man. Oh, my God. When you talk about attacking force and unrelenting force, you talk about Atalanta. You're talking about Atalanta. They can beat any team in Europe. Any team any team. This is the kind of team that has been spanking Syria team 7-0 and 7-1 and 6 this. They good. Papu Gomez and Duvan Zapata, Josip Ilicic, Mario Pasalic, Golini in goal. This team is decent team. But I won't, I would never ever write off this Valencia team. Saladis in charge. Rodrigo up top. 
Ferran Torres, very dangerous. Jeffrey Con Condogbia, Danny Parejo, Cocalon, Gabriel Paulista, and Co. This team is a dangerous team. It's hard to write off Valencia. Very, very difficult to write off Valencia. So this one is a kind of, you know, but I'm, I'm edging. It's, it's hard to, to predict a winner here. But I would dearly love to see Atalanta go through. Atalanta going through would be great for football. Seriously. Valencia got to the final twice in 2000 and 2001. It's never won the Champions League. This is Atalanta's debut season. Atalanta was playing in Serie B a decade ago. Just, just think about that. Just put that into context. It would be a great, great narrative if Atalanta goes on to the last eight. It would be good. It would be good for Italian football. It would be very, 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 very good. It would be very good. I would love to see Atalanta win the Scudetto one day too. They could just hold on to all their players and everything. Not get them stolen by Juventus like they and Kulosevsky. They could do something. They could do some serious damage in La Liga. I'm only going through two. I need to I need to hurry up. I don't have time. Chelsea by Munich. Oh man, this one is an uphill one for Frank Lampard. I'm I look, look, look. Chelsea currently fourth in you know EPL. They've been very inconsistent this season. They have fallen off big time. They're about eight points behind third. Chelsea are not in good shape. I'm not going to lie and say Chelsea are in good shape. But when compared to the other leagues, their form isn't that bad. It's just that Liverpool has made everyone look bad this season in the Premier League and, and elsewhere. They have made everyone look really bad. They have shown up all the other teams. So Chelsea by Munich. Bayern Munich currently top off Bundesliga, getting past Leipzig there. They're playing some good football. They play today too. Guys, it's really hard to see Chelsea beating Bayern Munich. Seriously, it's hard. It's really hard to see Chelsea beating Bayern Munich. These two teams were in the final when Chelsea won the, tight, the Champions League title too. It's really hard to see Chelsea beating Bayern Munich, man. It's difficult. It's very, very hard. I don't see this happening. Frank Lampard, debut Premier League season, debut Champions League season as a manager. I don't see him beating Hans Dieter Flick and Bayern Munich at all. I'm going to go with Bayern Munich for this one. More experience and more consistent team. I'm going to go with Bayern Munich. Sorry, Chelsea fans, but... I really don't see you guys doing it. It's possible. It is possible. But if this Chelsea team defeats Bayern Munich, it will be an upset. It would definitely be an upset. Because they're going into this one as underdogs. It would be an upset. So, I'm going to go for Bayern Munich here. Olympic Lyon versus Juventus. Juventus currently top Syria lost yesterday to Hellas Verona. So they have their frailties. They have their weaknesses. They're not all supreme. They are, they're not all superior. They could be beaten by Lyon. If Verona can beat Juventus, Lyon can do it too. But Lyon currently struggling. Eighth. Eighth. Eighth in Ligue 1. How are you going to be eighth in Ligue 1? Like this is Ligue 1 you're talking about. How are you going to be eighth? Like nah, this is that that's that's unacceptable. Rudy Garcia, this is unacceptable. You can't be eighth in in, in Liga. Come on. You cannot be eighth in Liga and think this is okay. It's not okay. I know you've lost Jeff Ren Adelaide and you know you've lost Memphis Depay, your, your, your talisman. Sold Nabil Fakir. But you got the talent. Musa Dembele, he brought in Toko Ikambi, Hasem Awa, and Ko, you know, Bircha and Chayore. You know, these guys are there. You got the talent. They're going into this match as underdogs against Maritza Sarri's Juve. Ronaldo, Dybala, Higuain, 
Quadrado, Douglas Costa, Alexandro. If fit, if all these guys are fit, Matthew Edian, it's a it's it's a heavyweight team, and it's it, these it's it's different weight class. Let's just say that. Leon is in a different weight class than Juventus. Juventus are clear favorites here, but we know what a team like Leon can do. They can do damage. They can do damage. But I just think they're, they're, they're a bit light. They need a dip in this. They're a bit light. Leon is a bit light. I know, I know Ajax knocked him out last year. I know. But, but, Leon is a bit light. Juventus are the favorites here. They are the favorites. Not saying they're the favorite to win Serie A, but, but, but they are the favorites to win this round of 16 clash across two legs. Napoli versus Barcelona. Napoli currently 11th in Serie A. They play today. If they win their game, they could go up to around 7th. Barcelona 2nd right now in La Liga. New manager Setien. Napoli also has a new manager in Gattuso. Sacked Ancelotti. Barcelona sacked Valverde. So they're going into the round of 16 with fresh managers. Napoli, as we know, very, very dangerous outfit. Very, very deadly team. The Miliks. The Insignias. New boy Demma. Koulibaly, Alex Merritt. This team is a, is a decent team. Zielinski. This team, you know, this, te this team is a decent team. Fabian Ruiz. This team is a decent team. Let's just say that. So, Barcelona, watch yourself. No Suarez up top experimenting, you know, Dembele injured. But Barcelona are the favorites here. They are definitely the favorites. Once Lionel Messi is in a team, they are the favorite to go through. And I don't see Napoli beating Barcelona. But if it happens, it will be nice. It will be nice for football. And it will be nice to react to and talk about. And I will tell the Barcelona fans that I told you so. I told you that this guy Setien wasn't a man for the job. Barcelona has been knocked out the Copa del Rey. So has Real Madrid. First time both teams have been knocked out before the quarterfinals I think for like 60 plus years so it could happen it could happen Napoli can do it Napoli can definitely do it I got a few more to run through in the next couple minutes gotta make it snappy gotta catch the bus next up Borussia Dortmund versus PSG this one is hard to gauge this one is very 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 difficult to predict Thomas Tuchel coming up against his old team Borussia Dortmund on the Lucien Favre. It, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. I saw Dortmund lost yesterday versus Bayer Leverkusen in a game they should have won. Sancho, Haaland, Brandt, and these guys, they, 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 they just playing games. They playing games. Very good team, but very, very unpredictable. Very volatile. It could blow up in your face, and then other times they could just Nothing, nothing. They could be unreactive, non-reactive. This one is a hard one to gauge. This one is a hard, hard, hard one. But with a fit Mbappe, a fit Neymar, Icardi, Cavani in the wings. Well, I should say waiting in the wings. Di Maria, a Verratti. Dortmund ain't getting past PSG. I'm going to say PSG are the favorites here. To get past Borussia Dortmund. That's my prediction. I already talk a lot about Man City, Real Madrid. Pep Guardiola. Currently second in EPL. Zinedine Zidane in charge of Real Madrid. Currently top of La Liga. One loss, seven draws. We have six losses, three draws. This one is hard. I spoke about this one. So guys, I made a separate video. You could go check it out. Don't want to talk too long about this. But... Real Madrid are the favorites here. Real Madrid are the favorites to beat us. And finally, Liverpool versus Atletico Madrid. Diego Simeone and Atletico Madrid currently fourth in La Liga. They're not doing too well. They have dropped 30 points this season already. 30 points. Four losses and about six draws, I think. 
something like that, something like that. About nine draws, I something like I think it's nine draws. Yes, nine draws, four losses. Atletico Madrid is in a bad state, bad state. Jao Felix has, has flopped. Toma Limar flopped. Diego Costa injured. Morata currently injured. They're not in a good state right now. They're not in a good state. They're not in a good state of mind. And but they're not too far behind in La Liga. They're not doing too bad in La Liga. They could still clinch a Champions League place. But the thing is. When you have Hetafe in front of you, Hetafe in third in front of you, you're not doing good. You're not doing good. Liverpool under Jurgen Klopp, currently top of the Premier League, world champions, European champions, Super Cup champions, Premier League champions elect. Ain't no stopping Liverpool. It ain't no stopping this team. If Atletico Madrid stops Liverpool, they might as well go on to win the Champions League this season. But Liverpool are the favourites to come through this one. And I think Liverpool are the favourite to win the Champions League right now. Being the first team after Real Madrid to win back-to-back -back titles. And the first team after Real Madrid to make it to three finals in a row. That's where I leave you. You know I love you, but I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta catch the bus. Last bus too. So, guys, if you're new around here, consider hitting the subscribe button. Smash the thumbs up button. Let me know your thoughts about the round of 16 clashes in the comment section down below. This is just a quick preview. And until next time, peace out. Rich squad. Oh, gotta go, gotta go. Oh man, I actually, guys, the bus is actually coming. Is that the bus? Oh man, yes, that's the bus. Oh shit.